So this is something that I currently have built right now. This is, I made Tassiger lands. I have had reading half of the cards and playing it wrong for months. <laughs> no, yeah, I know what you mean. Mm. Um, so I built Tassiger, Tassiger lands. It's kind of like my in between be between like CDH and like super powered because I don't have like every super expensive card. And I don't have like the the actual duels. I don't have Imperial Seal or anything like that. But um, playing with it, I realized I'm not a fan of a land based strategy that isn't like super green. And I started, as you can see, if you look through my spells, I started swapping out a lot of ramp and controls and, and creature stuff into, like, blue counters and stuff and getting ready to go more down into just, like, the control value engine with Tassiger and just kind of play the long, grindy, I eventually win over time game strategy instead of just playing a land strategy. All right, Derek, I know what this entire deck is based around now. We're changing the entire concept. Okay, here's what we're doing. Right? Neoform. So we're gonna we're gonna play this card, right? No, but wait, but you gotta follow me here, right? What's what's his mana cost, right? Yeah, uh it's six. Okay, so what are, what are we gonna The entire deck is based around this now. Wait, let me check the mana cost on this. Um Wait, hold on. Oh yeah, yeah, it's correct. Bang <laughs> <laughs> sixty one for the foil for uh showcase. Bang! This is what the entire deck's built Tom, around now. Tom, do you know that Koma's tokens cost more than some of the gods? I know, I saw! I saw! They're I like saw, $5 saw a piece for their crazy, tokens. Same thing with the sharks. I just spent $10 on two shark tokens. Yeah. It's fucking stupid. It is. For shark for shark typhoon. But yeah, no, this is the entire strategy of the deck now. It's just getting out Koma. Not gonna lie, I wouldn't mind getting Koma out into the deck. Yeah, like, it seems, it seems fine. But like... like it, you just want good creatures. You you want to know what's a, what'd be a fun one is the Shia, too. It makes your Cyclonic Earth proof. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, that's all, that's also just a fun I also card. wanted you know? to swap out, like, uh, I did want the um, Biomancer's Familiar and uh, Training Grounds. Like, I wanted, I still wanted to use Tassiger's ability. And um, If you're going, like, full-blown, I mean, you're, you're probably going to cut out a lot of this. I mean, if you're going, like, full-blown lands... Is no, no, saying. I'm saying I don't want to go full-blown lands. I was at lands, and I wasn't a fan of it, so I want to go to more just, like, Tassiker value oh, control. A CDH deck? Yeah. Like, basically the CDH deck. Except without, like, I'm, I don't think I'm going to actually buy an Imperial Seal. Or get, no, like, no, 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 or get, like the, no. the dual lands. But a lot of people will let you, uh, like, proxy that or whatever. That um, or, like, having, like, a Time Twister. Yeah. But I know Carpet of Flowers was another uh, a pickup I would have to get. And that one's actually not too bad to get. So it looks like he he's an Ad Nauseam deck also. Oh, yeah, because you play kind of relatively low spells. Because you're basically just a spellcaster deck. Oh, the new Teferi looks really good in this. Well, well like the newish one. Like the one from... Uh, uh, the one that takes an extra turn. The one from M21. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Some of these decks I'm looking at only play eight creatures. That's insane. Yeah, because you can't get creatures back with Tassiker's ability. Oh, no, you oh can't. Never mind. A non-land. Never mind. Dude, oh my god. Fucking, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Echo the Aeons is disgusting in this deck. Oh, yeah. Because you just either, like, put it on top and then just mill it, or... That's, that's really good. Uh, I'm looking at... Okay, so if you're going like full blown Tassiger, then we gotta make it all mana rocks. So I do have, like I said, also I took it out in this build, um, I, cause I just had the mana crypt. I had the mana vault in here too, which I attempt, I had t uh, temporarily taken out. I was, as you see, I actually even took out the, um, the Ristic study and the, uh, the, uh, the Mystic Remora at the time, cause like, I don't know, it just wasn't for how the deck was playing. I wasn't feeling it super yeah now, ton. now you definitely won't play but now this. i definitely yeah yeah you want carpet of flowers you want mystic remora you want ristic study you probably don't even want exploration or burgeoning like, no those don't even matter yeah when you're not I land based like carpet of flowers ristic sylvan and mystic remora and that's it yeah i agree uh like you just you don't even need the wilderness reclamation no again like, that was the land just... strategy because we're we were at that time like it says just get lands into play um 
Luckily, Carpet of Flowers has had a, uh, a reprint, I think, in, like, junk... In, like, yeah, it's, all, it's, it's like, only, like, yeah, it's down a lot, which is really nice, because it, it's a be nice, slightly easier pickup than other, uh, other things. Jesus. Jesus! Yeah, I still have, I still have mine that I could put back in, fortunately. But I think Mystic Remora is finally, like, $8. Which is so funny to me because it's such a broken card and it's not worth anything. Oh, Tom, so. Oh, look, it's 10 bucks. So, oh, Tom, shit. Tom, you know what's cool? The first Mystic Remora. And so, I did actually have a Moldrotha deck I put together that's mostly like with sagas and enchantments, which is a lot of fun playing it. But you don't have to pay for Mystic Remora ever. You just let it die and then cast it from your graveyard as your uh, enchantment for the turn for, with uh, Moldrotha. Oh, yeah. So anything that has like an accumulative, is so stupid. Yeah, I'm. I've really liked the Moldrotha list, which also wouldn't be. He wouldn't be terrible in here either. Seasons Pass, I think, is definitely a good keep. Uh, I mean, if we're talking CDH, then no. Uh, definitely not for CDH. This is way too much mana. The only way you're playing this card is if it gets played for free off of something. Like I said, like. The, some people do Neo Farm in here as a joke, but most people just. I've seen a lot of people are playing Kanan and stuff like that. And then just play the Mana Rocks and just activate him a lot. Also, I see. I think that they're doing the Dramatic Reversal combo. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Because you're, if you're running all like Mana Rock, a bunch of Mana Rocks, you make infinite mana. You could mill your whole deck out with Tassiger. Uh, and, and then just also keep playing it until you get like. Oh my god, Derek. Echo the Eons with Notion Thief or fucking Hull Breacher? That's fucking disgusting. So, for, I did actually... The reason why I like Hull Breacher is foil, because I actually did pull a foil one, and I pulled the Opposition Agent. It's so gross. So, Death Rite is definitely staying. I think the birds... We're definitely cutting this. We're cutting these. Yeah, into... we don't need that. We don't need... I don't think we need Dryad. Um, I don't even think we need Eternal. No. People don't really play Eternal. Opposition Agent's fine. Don't need don't Oracle. Need don't need, don't need Ramanap. Ramanap. Don't, don't need, need Crucible. Yeah, don't need Seaborn, don't need World Shaper, don't need Hydra, don't Wait, need Titania. Some, some people some people play Seaborn Muse. Oh you like, know, because you're, you're right, can, because you it, it does let you activate it, and if you are kind of a control deck, maybe you do want your everything to untap and your mana rocks to untap. So yeah, I could see keeping Seaborn. Well hold on, let me see. I don't see this guy playing it, but uh also he's not playing Oko. Oh yeah, we uh, we, we, he, we can he's, take. Playing, he's playing he's playing the other Teferi. Which I actually like because he discards cards, so mm -hmm. that's really gross. Like this one that you get to discard on everyone's turn. Yeah, I actually do have one too. And then you could phase out and take extra. I also see cards. some people run a Neza Hall as just like a potential like. Oh yeah, Neo form into him. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so hold on, are they even playing Grim Tutor? Probably not. No. It's... No, they're playing Praetor's Grass though. I've always told you Praetor's Grass is such a stupid card. Mm -hmm. Because it, it, like, it lets you target them, too. Okay, so they're playing, like, cantrips and stuff, but I've become less of a fan of cantrips recently. But then again, with this deck, you kind of want to see the top of your library, so it's not the worst. Oh, speaking of that, you need Sensei's top. That's, oh, like, one of the first things that needs to go yes, in. Yes, I, I actually have a top I could take out of... Um, so fucking expensive. Yeah, I have a top I could take out of uh, Kefnet, because Kefnet? Kefnet is now just yeah. for fun more for funsies. We need to put in all this stuff. Uh... Like all the mana rocks. So, and then the chrome rocks. And. I do have a chrome then, ox as and well. Then the signets. I don't have the other mox, the discard a land one. Yeah, mox diamond. Yeah. That's the $500 one. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like, you could always just, like, proxy it or whatever. Uh, I mean, but, it could, I mean or it could be an eventual pickup, I guess. I mean, if this is going to be end up being my for realsy deck, but like for now, well, actually, no. the thing is, you could do what I did and just trade stuff. Like that's that's how I got my guys. Actually, you know what? I mean, for now, put it into like a maybe board because I want to see how much I could actually build as of like what I with what I have right now. And we'll just maybe put like in into a maybe board, and then we'll. Sorry, I'm, I'm not 100 percent looking at the chat right now. If anybody's saying anything. Oh, let me let me oh, check. Yeah. I'll jump over. Hello. So, a sweat, sweat hello, swallow hello right. to the seven people watching right now. We appreciate you guys. Yeah, thanks for coming. Thanks for hanging out as we are re reworking my CDH slash high powered Tassiger build. It's coming out of its lands mode because I was not a big fan of it in lands mode. Um, I did also I really wonder, cool. I wonder if this version's playing 
Oracle. Yeah, they're playing Oracle Consultation. Why would you not? Yeah, because you if you could just win, you could just win like turn if they're both in your hand, you could win turn two. Did you play Train It Tainted Pact also? Uh, or I, did you never get one? I don't know if I got one or not. Yeah, you need it. It also wor works with Jace. So. <laughs> it's the other. It's the other one. That's the really expensive. Oh, okay, one. I see it. Yeah. But that that's expensive. a little bit more doable though. Yeah. I'll pick that one. Uh, also, Tainted Pack works differently because with Tainted Pack, you keep revealing until you want to stop. With Demonic Consultation, you just name a card and you go for it. And if it's in the top five, you just lose. You deck yourself. Which is why you name something that's... You, you only do it in this situation. You run Akon, Akon's Run. Mm -hmm. It's funny because uh, that's like the, the actually the very first card in like... I, th or it, I think it's because of how it's, it's like a parentheses or something in its name. Akon's run is like the first card you get to is like in the uh, in the list. Oh yeah, totally. Uh, so and then we need the signets. So, uh, would you want to run signets or would you want to run the? Uh, no, the, let's still the, run the signets because uh, the, the like, medallions. It's an ice card scepter. Oh, true. I also think about the the was the talismans because they either tap for colorless or for pain damage. I think. I, yeah, I mean. When you're gonna be like, you're probably gonna play a nauseum. So, um, I see he's playing one talisman, but this might actually this can't be that old because Thassa's Oracle is in it. So, uh, that's from Theros at least. Uh, I mean, can probably do. I mean, I guess the talismans are just better, right? It depends because they also like, the thing like... is they also they drain you they drain life to use this actually for her color, but then they also tap for colorless generically I think, and you had a choice and you don't have to like pump mana into it. I don't know. The funny thing is, is he's not playing the uh, he's only playing Demir. Uh... Okay, here's here's how he's doing it. He's only playing Demir Signet. Uh, Simic Signet and then Talisman of Dominance. So it's all just the Sultai good ones. And then the rest of them are generic. Which is how most people play CDH, is they really only use the Sultai in their, in their colors. And then rarely use, like, a lot of the stuff outside of it. So he's playing Demir, and... Because he's, cause he's using... He's using, uh... This over... Because Felwar Stone is actually really good. Uh... Because it's just better than a lot of the... And then Soul Rings in there already. And he's, he is using the one Talisman. Uh, I kind of like that. Because, I mean, you're mostly going to be using these colors. So, like, why play all the the ones, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, so. Like, I guess this one and Demir. Because you don't need it all. Because, like, I think all of them is too much. He said, uh, Drew, since like, hello, other six, my task for build is lands matters control as well. It was mean. I just, I don't know. I feel like the lands don't do enough for me. Like at times, like in, in playtest hands, I draw super ramp and play Tassiger, then activate Tassiger and hit like two lands. And now I'm just like, my so hand. time is supposed to be in this. So like, like my hand is basically empty. And now that I have, I just hit lands. Because you realize I was running a lot of lands because it was a lands okay. matter. So. Another really broken card. Oh, Bloom, Bloom Tender, Tender, yeah. And Birds of Paradise. See, this is why you don't need, like, all the signets, because you just play the best uh, of the best. Uh, so. I think I got a Birds I could borrow, too. Actually, do I have one in here? Uh, and then they're playing Elves of Deep Shadow. Because that makes black. And remember, the reason I why creatures of are so good... The reason why creatures are so good is because, like, not only can you play... He, he's not playing Neoform, but I've been really liking Neoform. Because you could sack off one of the one-drops and get into any of, like, the... You can get into Oracle. Uh, but... Or, like, you just go for the big ball play on Tassiger. Here's what you do. Also, is like, you have Tassiger out. You, uh, Yeah, I've seen him being... is real popular in the list, too. Uh, yeah, you, you just hit Tassiger out, get, like, your Neza Hall... And because, like, if you use, if you have a bunch of mana, uh, was Gilded Drake not in there already? No. I thought no. he was. No. Oh, because he's in, he's in there right now. 
But okay. Well, I just put them in there. Yeah. Maybe I just didn't update the list. Definitely not dig. Uh, okay, so we need to up upgrade this package here. Mm. Definitely not this. Yeah, don't. I don't even know if Fierce Guardianship is good for you. Oh, no, they're playing it. Oh, I forget you're a Delve Commander. Sometimes. Yeah. Uh, so let's look at the. Okay, so this is good. So there should be another Mana Rock probably, but this is the one that's over there. If anything, we could just play the other Talisman, like the Simic one. Uh, if you really aren't sold on playing this, you know. Like, maybe uh, I'll eventually get, may I'll eventually get it, but. Yeah, so I don't feel like oh, dropping that much on it anytime soon. Yeah. Ancient Tomb, and then... So we gotta cut the amount of lands, too. Yeah, because we also have a lot of lands, because this was a land build. So it has the different di all the different land titles to get uh, the um, Field of the Dead going. Yeah, which we're gonna cut Field of the Dead. Uh, for sure. We do not need it. We're just gonna play lands to play lands. Uh, so, definitely cutting that. Definitely cutting. Probably don't need that because the thing is, we played a lot of lands out of our graveyard. Okay, so are they playing Streamline? No. Oh, they're playing Tarnished Citadel also. You know, every deck plays Tarnished Citadel and uh, Forbidden Orchard, Orchard, or the Exotic and the. I guess this was not playing Forbidden. Because then Exotic Orchard is because like everybody plays like three to four colors in a. In a uh, EDA CDH, so it's like you're gonna hit. Uh, it's it does three. Oh, it's more of this three damage to you. Yeah, but it also just adds a colorless, so it's not. It's never. Oh, uh, so yeah, like, the difference between like that and like the other ones is like you only need it. For use it yeah, you only use it for yeah. color if you need it. So let's in a world that we're proxying things. Uh, they don't even have a listed price. It's because this is a, a weird. Yeah, it's the summer one. Revised. It's like six. Ugh. Yeah, it's like six hundred dollars right now. Uh, they are playing Ancient Tomb because he is a Delve creature. So they're also playing Bloodstained Mire. They're probably gonna play all the fetches because Deathrite Shaman and uh, it's godlike with him. So because the more fetches, the more you delve. So I, did you? Is Bloodstained Mire not already in there? Because I know I had a lot of fetches in there. I did take I did take some of them out because at one point we're like okay we have way too many and we need some basics and we because we had a lot of ramped cards. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Okay. So and then so that okay and then everybody does play City of Brass and stuff and Mana Confluence most likely. Yeah. Oof! I didn't realize City of Brass was that much. Yeah, it's because people play it a lot now. People got on to City of Brass. Remember we used to buy Reflecting Pool, City of Brass, and like Mana Confluence for everything? Yeah, but uh, Mana Confluence was like a bulk and rare. Mm -hmm. And we all had Urborg, like everybody. Okay. E Derek. What? Derek. What? Derek. Really? Is it, I, I thought it was in there. It's got Derek. to be. Derek. Shame him, guys. <laughs> shame him. Shame in the chat. Did we not? Did you, Shame. did you not? Did you take it out? Because it was in there, or no, maybe, or, I may, didn't. or maybe I just forgot to type it in. Because I know it was in in the actual list. I'm just joking. I think I think it's funny. All right, so, so that and then exotic <laughs> Fs, Fs in the chat, boys. Mm -hmm. It found it with that horrible spelling. But yeah, see, Felwar Stone and Exotic Orchard are always going to be good in, like, CDH. Yeah, because I think everyone plays, like, three or more colors. It's, like, are three, you four. Uh, yeah. yeah. I think I trade. think I was playing the they're blue not, fetches. They're not playing Fabled Passage because they just, they, they don't really need it. Yeah. Probably not playing Prismatic Vista either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they just, they just want the ones that can get the shocks and stuff. Uh, so, playing one forest... Oh, and a gemstone cavern is a good time to get one. Yeah, because that's what the re reprint. Yeah, and it's such a busted actually, card. It's such a busted card. I actually might have one because I I used to have one in um. No blue white control, right? No, it was. Deck, right? No, not that one. It was in um. Uh. So it's not running land of our waste. Shit! Well, I can't think of it. It's not running chasm. It's running an island, and then it's running. Man confluence. No, uh, you you ran it in the the mono blue Tron. Yeah, that's what I said. The blue white control Tron. No, I it, my, it was mono blue. 
mono blue. Charm. Oh, yours is mono blue. My bad. Sorry. I was thinking of Joe's. No, so I guess I don't have it. Maybe I got rid of it. Pool. They're running, nurturing peatland, overgrown tomb, polluted delta. Oh, Tom. Hey, Tom. Uh, do you want this? I have the uh, the etched foil Tormod. Maybe. If you're playing it in your one, it's he's not really not worth anything. But if you want it for zombies, I I figure okay. maybe just to have the nice pretty one. Maybe. Well, All it's right. it's available if you are interested. So why is he playing a random snow covered island? Weird. Okay. Uh, and then he's playing just a swamp, not a snow covered one. Uh, and then he's playing the tarnished citadel, which I got. And then a tropical island. The trop. Yeah, that. Nah, this is the this is the this, bad one. This this deck is actually this deck's playing twenty nine lands. Oh, because he runs so many ramp and creature ramp, I guess. Well, every CDH deck plays twenty nine or thirty. That's just how it is. Unless you're Yisan, which has to play thirty five because it abuses land drops. Like it plays creatures that play extra lands, and then you can bounce them to untap a creature. Same thing with Gitrog. Gitrog plays thirty five. Mm. The lands. He needs to see lands. But that's it. Every other deck plays like 29 because the mana rocks make up for it. Ah! Yeah. There it is. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I'm like a cat. I'm going to be like a cat that's like about to throw up. Like... <laughs> okay, so it does oh. actually run Underground River and then it's going to run Underground Sea. It's probably Underground Sea. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, there's the deck. Oh god. Is it running stadium? I mean I don't see why they like wouldn't no. run run them. No, because they have the fetchable ones and they're just playing like the peat land. Like you don't need too many legal targets. Honestly, oh you definitely don't need this. Hmm. Uh like you don't need too many legal targets, to be completely honest. And they're not gonna play your or board either. Uh, so hold on. Underground C to Verdant Catacombs. I have Verdant. So yeah, they're not, they're not playing this. Uh, they're playing Watery Grieve. Oh, you didn't have a Windswept Teeth. Windswept. And then they are playing Yavi Mayakos. Notice that they just play the Simic lands. Like, just, just the the blue-green and the black-blue. Like, they only play one legal target in the deck, or two, that are black-green. And only one, two are fetchable. And then there's this one. So what about the Morphic Pool, which is also, like, the... the... This is Demir. Yeah. They only they only play the Demir one and, the, and this one. All right. Wait, did I even see this one here? No. That also did just come out, so it may, be, I don't know, it may have not been added in the list yet. Because remember, those two are the new ones. Wait, why is there 31 in here? Hold on, so they don't play... Oh, wait, there's two Scolding Tarns, that's why. And then they don't they don't play Rejuvenating Springs. Uh, I mean, we'll talk about it. I, I Wait, now there's, know... no, now there's no Scalding Tarn. Did it do that thing, Derek, with copies? Maybe. Hold on, let me try something really quick. Scolding Tarn bugged. I look now if we if you save and reload. No, oh, we're good. Okay. So I mean, you could play it over this, like the pain land. Because I figured it. I don't if, see why you wouldn't. Yeah, I figured. Why would you not play it over the pain land? I, maybe it's because it, uh, maybe Commander Legends wasn't out when this guy built this list. Yeah, probably. Because then maybe in the same aspect, like maybe we wouldn't run the gr the the green black pain land, if it's even. No, but this one this one sacks to draw cards. So. Well, that's not a pain land. That's the draw land. Um, is there even? Do we even actually have like the black green? We, pain we land? have the, we have we have this one, but we also play morphic pool already. Uh, okay. And then there's the green black one, but I, that one's not very important. 
The only other green black land we play is the one that sacks to draw a card, and that actually comes in handy in this deck because you could sack it and you know get cards back. Oh, non land, but I I still think it's nice to have one that. Can't it's cards. also it's delve out it's delve outable. Yeah. So draw a card, delve it. All right. So that's the land situation. Uh, it's very. Oh my god. Well, yeah, because we three most of that is three lands. It's funny is people aren't even gonna play uh this like this is too slow. Mm. Um, I do have the Vamp Tutor, which I think I actually got from you. You do, which obviously they're going to play that. Uh, but let's just start with the sorceries. So, Echo the I like Echo the Aeons. I don't really like Cantrips too much anymore, but I, I, maybe Tasker is the deck for well, that. Like, I guess because it's filling up your graveyard and letting you delve out and you get them yeah, back. And you, you basically yeah. have to keep abusing them for low mana. I, I think that it's the deck for that. So, I think Jataxia. Also, you said this is an ad nauseum deck? Yeah, yeah. So that's we, we, also we the that's yeah. also the one you only paying one life per like since they go through a card. Also, ad nauseum gets around uh, uh, opposition agent and hall breacher. Oh, yeah, because it adds it to your hand, right? It doesn't actually draw it. Yep. yep. Nor does it tutor it. So, so does Bob. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they're not playing dark confidant. I fucking love dark confidant. There's I, no high drops in this deck. I have I have seen builds that do run it. I don't know why you wouldn't. I'm gonna put him on the in the side for. Uh, also, they're not playing uh, Hall Breacher or Notion Thief or. Uh, but again, I don't think Commander Legends came out yet, so we could talk about like what we would cut for it. Because mm. uh, I think what most people ended up doing is cutting their cantrips and just playing Hall Breacher in opposition. Yeah, the thing is because because those things are gonna stop ha mostly cantrips anyway. So. Yeah, like why would you want to play Brainstorm into a fucking Hall Breacher? You know. Mm -hmm. Like, I'll put it out how he has it. Like, he has the Ponder, and then he has uh, Imperial Seal. Ugh. That, that yeah, card. This, this one's a lot. <laughs> and then uh, he has Praetor's Grass. What the hell? Winter's Grass? There we go. There might be a loop in here with that card if he plays Noxious Survival. There's some loops with uh, your library if you have like uh, wheels and certain combos that let you like uh, play out their libraries. But I don't know if this is playing that in particular because they're very complicated. Also, he's playing Preordain. And then, which again, I'm just not a huge fan of like, oh, this busted card. But you're not running that many creatures, so I think you should play it. I'm not playing it in my list. Just because I, uh, I'm i playing 20 creatures. You're playing, what, like 10? I'm playing 20. I'm playing like 24 creatures, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and then, obviously... Uh, and then, uh, fucking Yogs. see it and is it? look at what this the price of this card is now yeah it's good in this deck though because you mill a lot you get to play yeah. stuff so this is a yogmoth's will deck when i see people play it in timid thrasios i'm like why i don't mill fucking cards i draw them straight to my hand like i don't need this card i don't need toxic deluge i don't like it uh okay so that's what i see for the sorceries very expensive because of the Imperial Seal. And then the Yogs Wills, the other super money card. Uh, okay. So, Abrupt Decay, yep. And then Ad Nauseum, which is another one of your win cons. Which, again, Ad Nauseum is amazing right now, this format. Because, like I told you, it gets around all the hate. Which is why Turbo Ad Nauseum decks are doing super well. Like, Sidisi. Like, the Mono Black Sidisi deck oh, yeah. is so good right now. Yeah, you Sidisi extort himself just to grab the Ad Nauseum. You don't play Beast of uh, oh, also, you don't have Assassin's Trophy in here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah, that's really good when you have a uh, an opposition agent. Assassin's Trophy. Oh, yeah, we're buying that art. You have to buy that art. <laughs> uh, Brainstorm. Oh, Chain of Vapor. Yep. I have. I do have a Chain of Vapor. Yeah, Chain of Vapor is not that much money. Uh, it's just. But Brainstorm, have... I can't do too much. Put it away. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, you know, that's that's really the expensive card out of the lot. Oh god, it's it's probably just that version. 
because that's the different art. Maybe. Because, yeah, I know his cards from Commander tend to be a little bit more. Oh, no! No, it oh. is just that money now. Yeah. Wow. Okay. All right. I have noticed I mean, that. It is, it is played a lot in CDH, so. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so they're not playing this. Uh, they're playing Delay over it. Because Delay is just a little bit better. And Arcane Denial gives them value. Uh, delay just... Uh, stops them completely and they have to recast it delay just think of delay as like a good answer to like a counter spell because they're just not going to be able to use it when it yeah. comes off anyway uh, uh and it's so easy to cast because it's a blue and a colorless cruising says thinking about uh building uh yannette next or or alila i haven't actually looked into either of those as a uh, build Wait, is alila is alila the um one that makes uh fairies or is that ayula um uh, no, Ayula is the bear commander, right? Yeah, no, Alila is the one yeah. that makes fairies. Oh, she's so cool. She's so cool. We have a buddy who, play, who plays her at the shop. She's really good. Yeah, I think uh, she okay. is like one of the, the most played uh, Yeah, like, all the um, ones from two years ago are on the top ten list. Chulain, uh, the dragon, the Jun dragon, like the sacrifice tribal. Boy. Yeah, Alila is, has a thousand more deck builds over Xur. Yeah, I told you. Yeah, like they're... they're because that one's fun and they're serious. Okay, so dramatic reversal we got. Fierce guardianship we got. Flusterstorm, force negation. Oh, you need force negation. Oh yeah, I don't you're have not, one. You're not playing. You're not playing all the free ones. Yeah, I, that's one I have to get. Ah! Ah! <laughs> when did that get there? Because holy god! Because everyone plays it. Oh my god, man. So oh, you're not even you're not even playing Limdol's Vault. It's oh. so good in this deck. Oh yeah, it is. I think I had oh, one cool. in um, I, I think I had I think I had that in uh just blue black control with the weird self milly dude. Uh, so Limdol's Vault managing, you need a mental misstep. Oh yeah, let's it go. It says it says uh counter target Mystic Amora. Yeah. Uh, that's what the card says. <laughs> oh, miscast, my boy! I love this card. I've been getting people out of this. I love this card. Oh, Tom, miscast. you know, it's one. Tom. It's one word. Um, I'm get people out of this card. Yo, I actually do really like miscast. Mm -hmm. Oh, muddle the mixture because you're playing the uh, the sword combo. Yep, yep. That's, that's good. Muddle the mixture, be able to tutor it, uh, and then. Uh, Mystical Tutor, you already have that. Narset's Reversal, you don't. I have don't that. have that. No. Narset's Reversal is hot right now because it uh, counters a lot of stuff. And it also lets you get a copy of the spell depending what it is. Yeah, like if someone's gonna go off with their deck and try to wheel, you could like take it, and take control of the situation, or just like oh, if Tom, trying to take an extra turn. You know the card Twin Cast, the two blue counter uh, copy target spell. You may choose news copies for it or whatever. I didn't realize if you look at it, like a uh, pull from tomorrow. Okay, I like pull from tomorrow. Uh, Tom, go search. Uh, look at Twin Cast. It's not in the list. Just search Twin Cast. So read that card very carefully. Actually, uh, no, that's not the one I'm thinking of. Then I'm thinking of a different spell. Hold on a second. Pierce. Stifle. Uh, where is it? Uh... Dude, trick bind? That's so good against the meta right now. Now, may I'm, then... think may I'm thinking of something else? Because I saw a weird spell that... Uh... Veil of Summer is so good. Right oh, now. right, yeah. Veil vale of Summer. That's another one I need to get. You know, like, have you seen, like, Veil of Summer? Yeah. You see it's how fun. much Veil of Summer is for an uncommon? Yeah, have you read this fucking I, I know, it's stupid. It just keep, no, it stops Thoughtseize. <laughs> vale, it, also, draw card. it also is a really nice way if someone's going off and, you, and it's the way to make yourself uncounterable. If it's, like, their, their way to win is, like, a targeted thing. Wait, how did I miss instance? It says he has 32. That... Oh, Nietzsche's claim and Noxious Arrival. 
all really strong. I just put Nature's Claim in, uh... Uh... TNT. Oh, so Tom, I was playing the, uh... Because I have the, uh... What's its face called? Uh, the Torok deck finished. The shenanigans you could do... Once you've cast, uh... What am I missing? Sis 32. Wait, Tom, so you ready for the shenanigans, right? Um, <clears throat> because Seasons Pass is in the deck, when you do the uh, the ultimatum, if you get Seasons Pass, you either cast it, and because it shuffles back into its deck, you get like all the stuff that you want to get back, whatever, and then Seasons Pass goes in. And the two other things that you could get are two copy spells. So you get Seasons Pass, two copy spells. So that you're getting a copy of Ultimatum to cast it again to get your whole graveyard back, to get even more back. Because you, because I found a way, like you could keep chaining with some some copy stuff, and eventually you get to the point where like you just, you could basically, if you cop, if you cast, you if you get the copy, uh, the ultimatum, I, that deck wins in like five thousand different ways. Yeah, oh, sh I'm sure. I mean, that card's ridiculous. Yeah, being able, like I've had a lot of fun with playtesting. I almost feel like I want to actually throw a Thassa's Oracle in the deck, because I'm pretty sure I could just, like, also be another alternate way to win. Yo, did you see... I think it was, uh, the, uh, the, bl the, the Black Box, whatever, the dude on that does the arena videos on YouTube. Yeah, yep, yep, I've been watching him a lot Did recently. you see the thing with the making 44 Devotion for Thassa's Oracle? Yes, I saw that. We, he was doing the white card that makes a 1-1 one, one, uh, equal to the number of your devotion to white, and then he played Mystic Remora, or Mystic Reflection, yeah, and then turned it into the owl that like gets all the uh, historic stuff, and then he like just plays at the... And the best part about it is the owl gets a lot of cards out of your deck, because he was playing like mostly sagas, mm -hmm. so he would like get like 15 cards out of his deck, and then play a Thassa's Oracle for 40. They never even let him do it. He didn't even get it off once. They just scooped after the 5 million owls. Like, he never got to do it once. Okay, we're at 101 cards. What is not... Um, right? does, does maybe board count towards the list? I don't think... No, but what am I... Hold on, because... Oh, because we have the Opposition Agent and Hole Breacher. I think. Right, but he's not playing either one of those. So what is what is he playing that we missed? Do we have Elvis the Deep Shadow in here? Yeah. How's it only 101? Hold on, he's playing 29 lands... 10 sorceries, 4 enchantments, 4 walkers, 12 artifacts, and 32 instants. And all that's right. So am I missing something with the creatures? Birds, Bloom Tender, Deathrite, Elf, Gilded, Kanan, Notion Thief, Thassa's Oracle. How are we playing two different things? Oh, because we're not playing the diamond. That's why. Yeah. Okay. So, I do want to play Hull Breacher and Opposition Agent. There's absolutely no reason not to. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I, I'm thinking that this card is bad now because of Hull Breacher existing. Yeah, because with those cards coming out recently, like, like I said, I think the cantrips do get worse. Right. Like this gets less hit. They only get one card from it. Same with this. Same with Preordain. But like. Brainstorm gets blown out. And I know that you can put cards on the top of your library, mill them with Tassiger, but I think it's just not cute anymore. Honestly. Oh, um, do they are they were they running Notion Thief too? Yeah. Notion yeah. Thief's still the better one. It draws yeah. cards. Yeah. Like he's still the better one out of out of the, the I mean, you know, debatable. But mm. the thing about this is it's kind of like a one time interaction, the way that this works. Like, if you think about it, like, the way that it's normally going to work is, like, okay, they try to do something, and you flash in this, this, or this, and then they're just going to stop doing it until they answer it. Is like, how it's going to work, like, almost 100% of the time. But I think so this is the list without Mox, uh, which you probably do want to run it. It does make a difference. Mm -hmm. um, I do I think, think the thing with Opposition Agent, though, is that depending on the deck you're playing against, if you know that they're going to tutor, a lot of times when you're tutor, you're tutoring for your ways to win. So In being this format... There's going to be a trillion tutors. Yeah, that's the thing. So you put it out, and it, I guess maybe it slows the game enough to, like... Dark. Yeah. That's your land. Flash it's, 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 no, no. My land. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, I get that. 
god windfall when you have an when you have a hole breacher or an ocean thief. That's why it's in there. Yeah, or Narset. Mm -hmm. Well, Narset, we might even want to cut her now that hole breacher exists. I, I mean, he's still he's still playing her, but I think that this might be a cut and then just keep Mox Diamond in. Honestly, I don't know, but I think just having as many to stop the draw is still just that is that good. I think these are fine. Narsa also Narsa also grabs you a card too, which is nice. Yeah, but the problem is, is she doesn't give you the value. I mean, neither does Hull Breacher technically. He's just giving you mana. But, but then, what do you do with mana? Yeah, we 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 want mana. I guess true. Yeah, maybe that can't. And also, Carpet of Flowers is another way to like generate mana too. Well, this is just a stupid card. I just think that this is better, even though it's more expensive. I think it's important to have the the God Four, which is what I call them. Uh, which is the diamond, the mana crypt, the soul ring, and the chrome But Tom, what if my opponent doesn't have any islands for a carpet of flowers? <laughs> <laughs> I like that laugh. What format are you playing that they don't have any islands? Also, the way it's worried, because it says the beginning of each of your main phases, so that means main phase one and two. Mm -hmm. Also, Narset was worded differently as these two. Or is Narset draw only? or it, If they would draw more than one only... card than the, than the first card of their turn. Yeah, this one is just first card of their turn. Yeah. Except for their draw step. Narset is uh, each opponent can't draw more than one card one each card turn. One card each turn. Hull Breacher and Ocean Thief stop all cards on all turns, except for the one that you draw on yours. Yeah, yeah. So Narset still lets them draw them. one card. Also, way harder to counter a creature in this format. If you look at all the interaction, creatures come last on the interaction totem. Yeah, because spells are what will win you the game. Mm -hmm. So this is the kind of deck I'd play for this 100%. You need this in the format now to be able to steal their Hull Breachers. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, I know something that we're missing. Uh, I want to put in Mystic Mystic Remora. Or not not Remora. Uh, Confluence? Reflection? Oh, I love uh, Reflection. Yeah, I think that this card is disgusting. No, it really is. Especially because like, that is actually a good way to deal with creatures. Uh, question is, what do we... Cut? Yo, Tom, that's... If you don't have a counter spell for... Uh, for... Thassa's Oracle, that's how you do it. Your Thassa's Oracle is now an Elves of Deep Shadow. I guess you don't win. Oh, yeah, yeah, 100%. Because that's the thing with Thassa's Oracles. If it hit the battlefield, if you didn't have, like, a stifle effect, mm -hmm. it, you, it, they would just win. Because even if you kill it, it doesn't matter. It just go. It just They probably have zero cards in their library at the time it goes off. Now, would you want to play, uh, was it the uh, Nature's Claim or Re Return to Nature? Or is that the one that has, like, multiple options, Return to Nature? No, Nature's Claim is the only one you play in CDH, because okay. one mana. Giving a life doesn't mean shit. And you, you always, if, when it comes to CDH, unlike Commander, like, Return to Nature is going to be better in normal Commander 100% of the time. But when it comes to CDH, you want the less mana one. Like, I took Cyclonic Rift out of my TNT deck to play Nature's Claim. It's just going to be better most of the time. Because, Derek, we both get dicked by Curse Totem. Like, oh, I mean, yeah. not completely. Because, like, we still win off of this stuff. But our commanders don't get to play the kind of game that they want to play. You know? Yeah, I, I have a Curse Totem if in uh, in Kefnet. Also, Training Ground wouldn't be the worst in this. I don't know why he's not playing that. I feel like Training Ground would be kind of cool, but... I, I guess because it only affects only Tassiger, and if Tassiger is not out, like, it doesn't do anything. And if anything, you could also play the uh, the Biomancer's Familiar as well, if you wanted to go more on that side. Yeah, that's kind of like how TNT is playing right now. Because uh, it it's like... still coming out super early. So like, again, yeah, maybe Neo form Nessa Hall in in a potential sideboard. Because with how spell heavy the format is, like Nessa Hall seems like it'd be really good. Plus, it also could fill up your graveyard for Tassiger. Yeah, but you just never want to draw it, and you can't play at nauseum with Nessa Hall. So, like, the highest you'd be playing is like Seaborn Muse or something. 
And you can always play, like, Eldritch Evolution instead, because I think that that gets lower. So, like, you could sack Tassigar to get Seaborn Muse, or, like, I don't know. I mean, I'm playing both of these in TNT. Like, uh... Because my deck is built around this, and I play way more creatures than you do, so mm. these cards are really good. Like, Eldritch Evolution, stacking off, like, Timna to get a, a fucking... Here, scroll back up real quick. All the way to the top. When the price gets six times more expensive. Well, actually, no, more like three times more expensive. Because certain cards like 